I'm Queenie Yu with Bullet Point News. I'm with Ryan Harvey, who is 17 years old and in grade 12, and has been playing hockey since he was three years old. It's his first year on the Stouffville Spirit team. He was born and raised in Stouffville and plays defense. Ryan, welcome to Bullet Point News. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us. How has your experience been in your first year with the team? Oh, it's been good since the start. Like we came in, like kind of just, I'm one of the younger guys, like we're a young team. Um, so it's good to just kind of get like, get into the, like my first year junior. Um, and then like, just, we have a good group of guys. So it's kind of like, they're all welcoming and kind of taught me the way um, kind of from the start. How do you balance school and hockey? Um, for me, like I go to Bill Crothers, which is kind of like specialized for athletes. Um, so I like, I have classes that are like, my teachers are very understanding and kind of uh, help me through it. And then like, I have designated time to do homework and stuff like that. So for me, it's always kind of been easy just to like, you finish practice at 5.30, you get home, do your homework. Like there's no real um, issues there. Do you have any pregame rituals to help you focus before a game? Um, yeah, like I always like to walk out kind of in the same spot in line and then like I eat the same meal um, type of thing. It just, I like to listen to the same songs, just kind of get my body and mind in like the right spirit to play. How is the win with Pickering impacting your mindset going into the playoffs? Um, I think it was just good. Like we kind of had two really good games right before playoffs. Like we're playing a really good team. So I feel like all the momentum we didn't get is, is good. Um, and I think it was just a good team win. Like everybody kind of played well, um, like from goalie to defense all the way to forward. So I think it was just good for us to get some momentum going into playoffs. What is the team most focused on going into the playoffs? I think just playing good every night. Um, we want to be competitive for 60 minutes, like kind of just hit our identity of playing north fast and uh, heavy. So I think we're just trying to make it as much, like, difficult as possible and uh, get some playoff experience under our belt. Are there any strategies that the team has used to develop teamwork off the ice? Yeah, like I think since the start, we've kind of had a good group of guys. Like when, when we go to workouts, like kind of every Monday, we like just keep it light, you know, keep it positive type of thing. Um, and I think that just builds teamwork. And then like we had a, a mental health discussion uh, a week ago and like the whole team got together. Like we had some pizza, just kind of like talked it out. So I think just stuff like that, like team events, we just, we all get along really well and we all talk, so. Playoffs are exciting, but can be stressful. How do you stay positive and motivated? I think it's just from the coaches down, I think it's just kind of take it one day at a time, one period at a time. Um, you can't get too high or too low. You kind of have to stay in a, a kind of moderate place. Like it's gonna be, we're gonna have our ups and our downs, but I think it's just kind of finding that happy medium and, and staying there as much as we can. How does this playoff tournament differ from the other playoffs that you've been part of? Um, so like this being my first year junior is kind of the first time we've had like a seven game series. Um, last year is kind of like we had round robins and then kind of a, a tournament. Um, but this year it's kind of seven games like the pros. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I'm excited for it. Um, it'll be cool to play a team kind of four or five, six times, seven times in a row. So I'm just looking forward to kind of like the pro style of it. Besides winning the championship, what are your other goals for the tournament? Um, I think just playing, playing like the best of my ability and having the team play the best of your ability. Um, I don't think kind of our success is determined off wins or losses. I think it's just determined on how well we play and controlling the things we can control. And how do you feel about playing Collingwood on Friday? Um, it'll be exciting. They have a really uh, cool fan base and so do we. So I think it'll be energetic all, all games. Um, and I feel like we battled them well this year, especially at home. So um, I'm just looking forward to playing a good team and, and making an interesting uh, series. Great. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us at Bullet Point News today. Thank you for having me again.